Hey everyone, so I'm getting ready and I'm just gonna dive right into it. Okay, so I'm putting my CeraVe AM moisturizer all over and I should just add as a disclaimer, I have three hours of sleep as I'm filming this, so not looking my best. There goes two pumps of the Bourjois Healthy Mix number 52 and that is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I am dotting it all over the place and um, just buffing, buffing, buffing. And this is at um, two and a half times normal speed so that you don't have to sit through this painful thing any longer than you need to. So I'm just dotting away and spreading it all over the place. And I do my eyelids, some people don't, I do. Now I'm getting a buffing brush. I'm looking through all my stuff, there it is, just to get all the little streaks out. Um, as those things happen, and I like the finish of it. Now, onto the under eye circles. Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Rollerball. Pat, pat, pat. That ring finger is your best friend. At least it's mine. And now what? Ah, yes, the Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1, I think, highlighter concealer. I always put too much in. I cannot stress enough. Take your time to pat that in. Pat, 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 pat. Don't rush through this. It really makes a difference in how it sets and lasts throughout the day, so just keep working it in there gently don't stab yourself in the face and um, that ring finger again very very handy I just coughed excuse me I have oak pollen allergies we've got two weeks left of that season and then I'll start sounding like a normal person again okay the Urban Decay concealer pencil which needed sharpening it always does I'm getting to the end of my stub there just donning it on a few key places I do have a backup handy Looking around. Okay. Back to the finger. Sometimes I use one of the Sigma Precision brushes, the one that's kind of pointed, but it's kind of in a hurry. So I'm using my finger. And pat, 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 pat. That works the best for that as well, I think. I don't know what I'm saying there. I think I'm singing. Oh, yes. I'm setting with the well-dressed, uh, what is that, Bare Minerals well-dressed. Um, I don't always do this step, but I have found that in extreme wind and in extreme humidity, those are both the best times to do it. For me, the wet, because when I'm outside and it's windy, uh, my eyes tear up, and that just helps the concealer from not running away. I am setting this with the MAC MSF in nat medium, natural medium. What I'm doing under my chin there is I have a new towel that I used, and um, I have gray fuzzy lint all over my chin. Neck. Okay, now a little bronzing slash contouring. Nice face, Marn. With the Sephora Bronzer in Los Cabos, a viewer suggestion. Thank you. Thank you, Alejandra. And I'm using the Sigma Pointy Face Brush. There's a technical word for that, but I swear to God, it doesn't look that contoured in person, but in the camera, I was like, whoa, holy contouring. So um, I toned it down a little with the Expert Face Brush. Now on to my incredibly overpriced Highlighter, that is the Dior Shimmer Powder in Amber Diamonds, and I do like it, um, and I'm going to use it and finish it up, but I will not be repurchasing it because there are just so many other highlighters out there that do the same darn thing for way less money. But it is a beautiful product, and I have it, so I'm going to use it. As is this. This is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Dainty. I'm using my Sonia Kashuk. No, I changed my mind. I am using my Real Techniques Multitask Brush. Um, I just wanted a nice pink flush since I was feeling extremely tired. Um, due to the lack of sleep. No real reason why I couldn't sleep, I just couldn't. And now I'm setting it with, again, finishing it with my Broken Hourglass Ambient Powder in Diffused. And I use the Sephora 55 Airbrush that I need to glue back together because it fell apart. Okay, now we're under the eyes. Woo! Priming with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. My bottle is old and manky and um, it doesn't look like that anymore if you wanted to purchase it at the store. Now on to Naked Basics. I'm starting with whatever that first color is. I can't see it, but um, I think it's Venus. And I'm just using like, um, it would be a MAC 239. It's the Sigma brush, but I can't remember the numbering system. Doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm just patting that all over the lid, up to the crease, pat, pat, pat. Then I'm taking my handy dandy Walmart HD brush and blending it a little. Then Walk of Shame up on the brow bone. I don't really like to do shimmer on the brow bone. I don't know why. Sometimes I do, but not today. Now I'm taking the Sigma version of the MAC 224. Again, I have no flipping clue what it's called. Tilt your head back, ladies, if you want to really find your crease. It helps me anyway. My crease isn't easily seen because of my hooded eyes. I always think of a cobra. I don't know why when I hear the word hooded. 
Um, so that's just kind of to do a little natural contour and some dimension. Now I'm using the MAC 222, maybe? It's a little more pointy, you get a sharper color, and I'm using the dark brown, I believe it's faint. And as you will soon see, I did a little too much there. Come on, Marnie, really? Some days I'm just a little off. And so I'm going back for my double-ended fluffy brush from Walmart and blending the heck out of it so as not to look like I was punched in the face. Blend, blend, blend. And um, it didn't blend out enough. So then I dipped the brush back into that naked color and went over that again. And that's just as good as it's going to get, I think. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, Stila. Some kind of brown. I don't know. Damselfish, I think. I use it every day. Damselfish, Oscarfish. I'll put it in the description box, you know I will. And I'm not doing anything fancy, just lining and smearing it, apparently. I've decided that I want it to be a little more diffused, so I'm taking a tiny little accent brush from Sonia Kashuk and going over with that dark brown color just to kind of, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. Sometimes I just make it up as I go along. Now I'm taking a pencil brush and blending it out a little bit. And I'm telling you to wait. Why? Oh, because I am... Oh, I forgot my eyebrows. How about that? Okay, so I'm using the Hourglass uh, Brow Arch thing. And, um, yeah, I have to say I'm not loving it. I mean, it does the job okay, but it's not great. And it's kind of harder to work with than I thought. And that square end is actually kind of annoying. Um, but I'll use it up because I have it. And moving on. Ah, yes, curl the eyelashes. I have the MAC eyelash curler. I love it. It's awesome. It's the best one I've ever tried. And now I've been trying a lot of mascaras lately, but I keep coming back to the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. This stuff rocks, and for $2.99, it's hard to beat. I've tried a lot lately, and we can go into that in another video, but I just wanted you to see there. One eye with it on, one eye with it off. This does clump a little bit, but... The effect is so amazing that it's worth coming out if you get a couple clumps. No biggie there. I'm also blinking like a crazy person because my eyes are really dry and my contacts are just sitting there like little pieces of saran wrap. So that's why I'm blinking like I have some kind of crazy tick. Um, now I'm using the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. Again, one of those things you just can't beat. It does what it's supposed to do. Now I'm trying to make myself look less like a zombie and I'm using the Rimmel Scandalize. Um, I don't know the name of it, but it's that color that looks like flesh to brighten up my eyes. What am I telling you? Why am I waiting? Oh yes, I'm going to set it and shake that sucker up. You gotta shake that spray up or it doesn't work. That's the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I'm fanning myself to make it dry. And I see that I have a little zit there, but eh, what the heck, I'm just gonna pretend like it's not there. What are you doing, Marnie? Oh yes, now you're gonna see me go through like three lipsticks because I try each one and go, no, I don't like that. No, I don't. Oh, look at the purple scrunchie. Isn't that cute? Yes, I still have scrunchies. Nope, I don't like that one either. I don't know what color I think I want, but apparently it's not whatever I'm putting on my face. Um, that's the Ma Maybelline, born with it. And I say, yeah, fine. At that point, I just decided I'm sick of playing with my face. So now the crazy show that is my hair. And it's just not, it looks windblown and yet there's no wind in my house. What's going on there? I don't know. Bye.